In my previous video, I showed you guys how to bypass the heated bed connector on any 3D printer. This is done by soldering the wires directly to the bed terminals. Now I'm going to reinstall and re-level the bed. I'll teach you that process as well. So to start, I flip the bed over. And I go corner by corner just putting a spring in and letting the screws fall into place. Now with the screws in place, I put a wing nut on one corner at a time. Just compress the spring a little bit to expose the threads. What you want to do here is have approximately the same amount of threads underneath each wing nut just to make the leveling process a little bit faster. Now we want to level the x-axis rods. To level my x-axis rods, I disconnect power and then I reapply it. Once it starts back up, I go down to disable stepper. And with an object of a fixed length, I set the white x-axis rod holders to the same height. You have to disable steppers or else you can't adjust the z-axis rods. Putting it in there with just the slightest amount of tension. Okay, the x-axis rods are level. When the z-limit switch is activated, we need the nozzle to be level with the bed. This is because when the z-limit switch is activated, the nozzle won't be able to go any lower. So we need this to be our home and we need it to be level with the bed for our first layer. Just in case the switch is too low, I'm gonna home x first so when the nozzle goes down, it doesn't collide with the bed. As you can see, the tip of the nozzle is about one or two millimeters below the surface of the bed. This means we have to tighten each spring until it cinches down about one or two millimeters. With the steppers disabled, I'm able to move the bed and the nozzle around just to eyeball the gap between the nozzle and the bed in each corner. I'll leave a couple millimeter gap and then I'll get to fine tuning with a piece of paper. When you're leveling the bed, you want to have the build plate at the temperature you'll print at. For me, that's 55 degrees Celsius. This is because you want the thermal expansion to be the same now as it is when your printer will be running. The red LED indicates the bed is heating up. This means the soldering I did in the last video still works. I clean the bed with 99% isopropyl alcohol. A lot of people use 70%, but that means you're leaving 30% of whatever is on there.
Now I adjust each corner until the piece of paper is barely sandwiched between the nozzle and the bed. The gap between the nozzle and the bed in each corner is just under the width of one piece of paper. This means there's a little bit of tension in this when I'm pulling, but not too much. With the build plate level, I can now load the filament. An important thing to remember when loading filament is to have your extruder carriage in the middle of the x-axis rods. This is because you'll be putting some force onto the plastic to push it through the nozzle and you don't want to apply that force over here or over here because it may make the x-axis rods crooked again. Now I'll feed more filament through with the extruder motor. I'm now going to print the test file to see how the leveling went. I'll now make minor adjustments during the print. We had a successful first layer, and now we're moving on to the rest of the print. The quality of your initial layer is what determines whether the print will succeed or fail. This is why leveling the bed properly is so important. Thank you for watching.